This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. All right, I wasn't planning on making another video tonight because I made one last night, uh, but the news does not wait for me or my schedule. So let's get on to the news. And as you can see in the footage next to me here, Eleonora E, the sailing yacht that was destroyed by a search and rescue vessel of all vessels has been raised in Tarragona in Spain. So we mentioned last night in that video that they were preparing to do this very thing, right? But after we filmed uh, yet yeah, last night, like last night, yeah, um, the vessel was raised by these, as you can see, by these massive cranes here. So if this is your first time watching the channel, this is a replica 1900 sailing yacht called Eleonora E. It was moored in Tarragona in June and that and as you can see in the footage here this vessel reversed into the sailing yacht putting a massive hole in the side of it and despite the efforts of all the people there who tried to help the, the crew that were on board there was fully crewed with nine crew who were all below decks and all of the people who were watching who was all the bystanders all went over to help but they could not stop that boat from sinking it sank within 30 minutes and it's been there ever since until today uh, they raised this vessel. You can, as you can see in the video footage here, there's big straps are on the vessel, and there's airbags all around the edge, which were used to lift the vessel from the water. Now you can still see that huge hole in the side of the vessel, right? So what is interesting is just before I started filming, my my man on the ground there, Richard Smith, who's been sending me all this great footage and these great photographs. He's there right now and he's sending me images saying, hey, they've just removed the straps from the vessel and the airbags have been deflated and there's a big giant hole in the side of the yacht and yet the yacht is still on the surface. So I said, my first thought was, well, they must have put something underneath it, right? And that was his first thought too. But then he said he can see the vessel moving with the, with the water. So we're at a bit of a loss to explain how this vessel is a flow right now. Um, I thought possibly they've put some airbags inside of the vessel and inflated them. But uh, he said all of the airbags are on the on the on the hard uh, next to where the boat is. So it is, is a bit of a mystery right now. If you've got any ideas how this vessel is still on the surface now that all the cranes have been removed and everything, uh, please put the comments below here. So the plan is uh, to patch that hole in the side of the vessel so it becomes uh, you know watertight and then they can pump out the water that's inside it so it floats on its own and then they're going to move it over to a shipyard which is about 800 meters away uh, so still close by that's the plan uh, once we get some uh, images of what they're doing we'll, we'll obviously we'll bring them to you right we're going to move on to the next story now this is, we've only got two stories tonight. Motiot Dilbar, we mentioned last night that it looked like they were preparing uh, to move that vessel last night. There was a lot of lights, a lot of activity on at the, at the uh, shipyard there in Hamburg. Well, uh, after I put that video out last night, it was uh, 0100 hours in Europe time and the vessel did finally move out of that dry dock. The, the, the vessel was refloated and they opened the big gate there and the tugs brought that vessel out. Now the vessel is a dead ship. It's got no engines, it's got no propellers, no, no shafts on it at all. So the vessel is, is being towed and um, they brought that vessel out. As you can see in the footage here, this is from a live webcam and I basically recorded the webcam for over an hour to get this footage here. So I'm, I'm gonna edit so to take out the bits because the camera's constantly moving left and right. So I will edit out the bits that where you can't see it. Uh, there's also some footage here from NDR, which is a German news uh, organization, where they filmed the vessel leaving, which I, I would love to have been there to, to, uh, to film that vessel coming out there. Now the vessel is um, now being transported down the Elbe River to Bremen. Uh, Lurston have a long-term storage there, and they're going to put that vessel there because they need the dry dock in Hamburg, which is fair enough, right? Because it is a business after all. It's, you know, it's not a charity there for um, sanctioned Russian vessels. Obviously we will bring footage or photos of Dilbar when it gets to its next destination. 
And the news continues to get worse for Mr. Usmanov, the owner of the 156 meter or 511 foot super yacht there. Um, today, the German authorities raided uh, properties in Germany, he has multiple properties in Germany, uh, and they raided them. I think he has one in Hamburg. He also has some at a lake, which I've asked a German friend how to pronounce it so I don't get destroyed in the comments. It is Lake Tergensee in Bavaria. He has two properties there, apparently. And he's been, um, the, the, the raids are the target of suspicion of money laundering, tax evasion, and the accu accusation the EU sanctions have been violated. Now, according to the investigators, Usmanov may have carried out illegal business through offshore companies. In addition, he is often said to have stayed in one of the villas at Lake Tegensee in Bavaria, but has not paid any taxes in Germany. And then there is also suspicion that the security company that guards his villas in the country have received money despite him being sanctioned. So there's money laundering, using offshore companies to do business within the EU, even though he's under sanctions. So that they are very serious charges. So like I said, keeps getting worse for uh, Mr. Usmanov, doesn't it? So anyway, th those are the two stories I wanted to bring for you tonight. Um, if you've got any information about either of these stories uh, or any other stories, please get in touch in the normal fashion. You can get us on the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and you can get us on Threema. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.